Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about my favorite finds of 2022. So I found some really good perfumes this year. I've got some gems in here, and I'm super excited to talk about them today. So I've got a bunch, I'm gonna jump right in. So the first one that I wanna talk about, this one is newer to my collection, but this is such a special perfume. When I smelled it, I was just so excited to have this one in my collection. Um, this is a fragrance from Pearl Lanera, and this is called Chagra. So this perfume, this perfume is so special smelling for me. I don't know why, but this reminds me of one of those incense stands. My other fellow Gen Xers out there, and probably even older millennials, will remember those. You could get them pretty much, I mean, they had them all over the place, but they were those incense stands that you could they you would get a little paper bag and you would pick out 10 sticks for a dollar that the smell of this perfume kind of reminds me of what the entire stand would smell like just that really strong sweet kind of slightly incensey but they didn't smell like resinous incense they smelled like i mean they had fragrances like mai tai and black cherry and dragon's blood and rain and magic and fairy dust and just all of these different, you know, not typical incense scents. Well, this kind of reminds me of one of those. I love the way that this smells. This might be the most nuclear fragrance I've got in my collection. This is a one spray and done. Literally one spray. You could even spray this in the air and walk through it and you would be good for the entire day. It is so nuclear. It's so crazy how strong it is. I love it. It's sweet and just incredibly unique. It's one of my favorite perfumes that I have gotten into my collection. I mean, this was sent to me and so I can't say that I discovered it. It was sent over, it's just, um, but it is one of my favorite discoveries of 2022. So anyways, that is Perlinera Chagra, and I see these are on sale on Amazon right now. I think they've lowered the price down to like 80 something dollars, and the bottles are exquisite. So anyways, that is Chagra. Okay, this next one, this is another Amazon find. Actually, I found mine on, mine on Mercari, but I think you can find this on Amazon for like $10. Um, this is a fragrance called Position for Women. I thought I was getting a dupe for Hypnotic Poison and I ended up, when it came, it's actually a dupe for the original Poison. And the reason I love this one so much is because it brings back the grapey top notes that my original Poison is missing. So my original Poison from 1986 still smells amazing. I can still spray it on my skin and when it gets to the dry down, it still smells perfect. It still smells exactly like I remember, but it's missing all of the top notes at this point because it's an old, old bottle of perfume. This, on the other hand, it's this one is not as complex. It doesn't dry down to smell like my old Poison, but it's it's got the top that I have been missing because the top is what brings me so much nostalgia. Um, when it dries down, it reminds me of what it used to smell like when I would smell it on my mom when she would wear it. But when I spray this, it reminds me of what I used to smell when I was like a kid and would play with her perfume and would spray it all over myself and I felt like I was spraying grape juice on me because that's what it reminded me of and so that's what this gives me. Um, so this is great. I have not tried it yet. I've been saying that I'm going to spray this on first and then spray, actually I'm gonna spray the original on first and then spray this on top. So to see what kind of experience I have, if I get all the, like the full experience now that I've got something that will give me back those top notes. But yeah, this was an amazing find. It was such a happy accident and it is, one of the best $10 that I spent all year. Um, it was such a good find, I adore it. So yeah, I'll see if I can find this on Amazon and link it for you guys because it's such a good one. If you're an, a lover of the original Poison, I think you would love this. And the new formulation of Poison is just not good. It doesn't, I don't know, it's just not good at all. But this is 
$10 well spent. So anyways, that is a fragrance called Position for Women. This next one, I was way surprised by this. I did not think I was gonna love this as much as I ended up loving this. This is Alien Goddess Intense from Mugler. And this one, I only bought the travel spray because I was like, I don't think I'm gonna love it that much. I liked Goddess, but I didn't love it. And I do, I, um, I really, really like Goddess. I think it's beautiful, but it didn't, I don't know, it smells like a lot of other perfumes that I have and it didn't, it didn't smell like Alien at all. This one, on the other hand, this one I love because it still, it smells like Goddess, but it smells like a way stronger, more rich version of Goddess but it brings back that you can smell the alien DNA in it. So, so it smells like, it's like everything that I think people wanted the original goddess to be. Um, something that smelled kind of like a beachy white floral, but that retained some of the alien DNA. It was definitely one of the best releases of 2022, and yeah, I love this one. So that is Alien Goddess Intense. Okay, the next one is this one here. This is the newest one from Charles Wong. This is called L'Apartment de Madame de Florian, and this was, this is beautiful when you spray it. It smells amazing even when you just spray it out of the bottle. But this one is absolute magic on the skin. Oh my goodness. And it is one of my favorite fragrances that I got all year. It's funny because all of the best fragrances always come into my life at the end of the year. It was the day that I wore it as my scent of the day that I fell in love hard because it's magic. It's absolute magic on my skin. It's such a unique and beautiful fragrance and the story behind it is exquisite. That's the perfect word for it. It's just an exquisite fragrance. Everybody else that I know that has smelled this has said that they love it too. I've even had people comment saying that they have a bottle of it as well and they love it too and they feel like it's magic on their skin too. So yeah, this is one of my favorite additions to my collection this year. I'm very grateful to have a bottle of it. So anyways, that is Charles Wong, L'Apartment de Madame de Florian. <laughs> okay, next we have this guy here. I picked this up from Ulta. I keep it in the box because I love the box so much. I just think that the box is super cute. But this is a Scotta Cherry in Japan. This smells almost identical to Cherry in the Air. And I love Cherry in the Air. It's long been discontinued. So when I saw this, I didn't know. I just bought it blind. I didn't know if it was going to be... Um, I didn't know if it was going to smell like Cherry in the Air or not. But when I got it, I was very pleasantly surprised that it does. It smells very much like it. It wears just like cherry in the air and I love it. It is limited edition, so I don't I don't know if they have it anymore or not. I don't think that they do. And it's one of my favorite perfumes that I bought this year for sure. Um I just got the one ounce bottle. I probably should have gotten a bigger bottle of it, but it's fine. I don't wear it super super often. Um, but I'm just so happy to have something that smells like cherry in the air back in my life. So anyways, that is a Scotta Cherry in Japan. They ended up putting it on sale on Ulta and golly, they marked this one ounce bottle down so much. I think it got down into like the $30 range or something. So, okay, next is this one here. This is a fragrance from a little house called The Maker, which is this beautiful niche fragrance house and this is called Paradiso. Um, they sent over they sent over a discovery kit and every single one of their fragrances are fantastic. They are all super unique and high quality and strong and they're just gorgeous fragrances. This is my absolute favorite. This is a beautiful, it's a mangosteen fragrance. It's really, really bright and tart. Mangosteen, I believe, is a fruit. I don't think it's even a citrus. 
but it is like the most tart citrus you've ever smelled, but it smells like a juicy fruit. It's a little bit peppery, a little tiny bit green smelling. It is absolutely stunning, and I love this fragrance. This one was sent over to me too, but this is one of my favorite additions to my collection this year. One of the best perfumes I got in 2022, hands down. Um, the Maker makes just some exquisite fragrances. So anyways, that is the Maker Paradiso. Oh, next is this little guy here. This is Cacherelle, Yes I Am. Um, this was sent over by one of my favorite people and this is such a beautiful fragrance. It's such a fun fragrance. It's not, beautiful isn't even the word, it's fun. It's sweet and yummy smelling. It smells like candy, but it's not super juvenile smelling. It's a beast, it performs incredibly, it lasts forever, and I just love it. It's such a fun fragrance, It's and I love the bottle too. It's one of the most fun fragrances in my collection, and I wore this a lot. After she sent this over, I was wearing this like twice a week for like three weeks, and which is a lot for me. <laughs> And I just love this. I wore it a lot around Halloween too because it reminds, it's candy-like. It's sweet and fun and young smelling and candy-like and I love it. I love all of the flankers of this too except for Yes I Am. I think it's Yes I Am Glorious, the one that has, I don't know, I just remember not liking that one but all of the other flankers of this are so good too. The one with the purple cap is so good. The one with the pink cap is so good. They're just all so, so good. So anyways, that is Yes I Am from Cacherelle, one of my favorite additions to my collection. This next one, this is another one that I just very recently got, but I am so happy to have this, and I feel like in the spring and summer, I am just gonna be in heaven with this perfume. I just love Lanvin perfumes so much. This is Lanvin Les Fleurs de Lanvin Blue Orchid. I want every single one of these now. They're very inexpensive. They're like 20, 20 something dollars. These are the most easy to reach for, pleasant smelling perfumes ever. There's nothing groundbreaking about them. This one has iris in it. This kind of reminds me a little bit of Boucheron Iris de Syracuse but this is like a lighter, more watery version of that. This doesn't have the powderiness at all either. The iris in this isn't a makeup-y iris. It's light, it's kind of slightly sweet, but it is just the slightest bit powdery. It's perfect. It's gonna be a beautiful like spring summertime iris. I just absolutely love them. Their Lanvin fragrances are just so pleasant and easy to reach for and yeah, I just love them. And this is no exception. This is one that, again, I always find the best things at the end of the year. I definitely need to pick up, they've got a Magnolia one and then there's another one. I can't remember what the what the third one is, but I want them all because they're, it's just gonna be, they're just gonna be great for warm weather. And even in cold weather, these are the kinds of fragrances that you can wear any time of year, any occasion. They're, they just smell so good. Ooh, I love it. So anyways, that is Le Fleur de Lanvin Blue Orchid. So we're down to the last three. These are my, these last three are my favorite things of 2022. But yeah, my favorites of 2022. My, the fav my favorite bottles that came into my collection in 2022. So this first one is one that was sent over to me by a beautiful subscriber. This is a fragrance from Ikirio Dream House, and this is called White Rabbit. I am so obsessed with this perfume. It's so special to me because of who it came from, but also because it's just such a special perfume. Any of you out there that are like Amorige lovers, if you love Givenchy Amorige, you love a, a vintage-y smelling, but not, not like 80s vintage, like a 90s vintage-y smelling, almost slightly indolic floral, like almost slightly indolic white floral. If you love a fragrance like that, I think you would absolutely love this. But what is so special about this is it smells like one of those beautiful 90s powerhouse indolic white florals, but it dries down 
to a beautiful like vanillic gourmand. I've never smelled anything like it. It's so, so special. It's such an amazing wear, if that makes sense. It's just, you just have the most amazing experience wearing this perfume. I'm just obsessed with it. It's one of my favorite bottles that came into my collection in 2022, hands down. I'm so grateful to have it. It's it's perfection. It's like me in a bottle because it gives me that vintage fix, but it dries down to my favorite kind of cozy gourmand. Oh my gosh, it's perfection. It's a masterpiece. And I don't say that often about perfumes. It's an absolute masterpiece. I adore it. So anyways, that is White Rabbit from Ikirio Dreamhouse. Okay, next we have got this beauty. This is this is another one that is newer to my collection. I just picked this up a few weeks ago. This is a cheapie. This is from Pascal Morabito, and this is called Sultan Ore. This is another vintage smelling floral. It comes in a beautiful bottle. It's got a beautiful sprayer on it, and it's a perfumey, a vintage perfumey floral. And somebody said that it gets compared to Poem from Lancome, and absolutely. It is, it is a very similar kind of fragrance. It does smell very similar to Poem. Again, it's got a little bit of that kind of indolic white floral note in it. The original does anyways. The reformulation doesn't, but the original does. And this doesn't, it doesn't have that kind of indolic quality to it that the original Poem does, but everything else, it does smell very similar. It's like a more modern, kind of updated, a little bit lighter, a little bit more wear wearable version of Poem. Amazing. It is hands down one of the best things I bought in 2022. It is the best like $23 I spent all year. I love it. I've already worn this like twice and I will, this is one that will live out on my hutch so that it's always there so that I can reach for it every time I'm craving it, which will be often because I love it. It's nostalgic smelling, it's cozy, it's comforting, and it's everything that I love in a perfume. So Sultan Noir is amazing too, and I could have included that one in this video as well, but this is the this is the star right here. This is the star. It's such an amazing affordable gem. So anyways, that is Sultan Or from Pascal Morbido. And then last but not least, we have this one here. This is a fragrance from Untamed. This is one of the newer ones that came out earlier this year. This one is called My Greek Lover, and I adore this perfume. This is, oh my gosh, and it somehow smells even better than the last time I smelled it. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. It's citrusy and floral, but it's like light floral. C very intensely citrusy with a light floral. It's got her signature Greek mastic in it, and it's stunning. The only perfume that I can even possibly compare it to to even give you kind of an idea of what it kind of smells like is Pure Poison from Dior, the original formulation of Pure Poison. But this, it's, it's, they're not even in the same ballpark. That's the only thing that I've ever smelled that's even slightly similar to it, but it doesn't smell like it at all. I've never smelled anything like my Greek lover. I am obsessed with this perfume. I wore this hard. <laughs> this, I have made one decant for somebody, but it wasn't a big decant. I went hard with this perfume this past spring and summer. It was my go-to. This was my easy reach this past spring and summer. I just, I loved it so much. I still do. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite perfumes. Every single perfume in her collection is incredible, every single one, but My Greek Lover and Mevlana are like my loves, the loves of my life. Anyways, that is My Greek Lover from Untamed, such a stunner of a fragrance. And that is gonna be it, guys. Those are all of my favorite perfumes that I added to my collection in 2022. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.